My name is Miss Shipley. I teach reception and today I'm going to be reading a story called The Stinky Sprouts. This story is all about some vegetables. Do you know what a sprout is? Let's find out. Here we go. In a faraway kitchen, there lived lots of food. Do you know any of these foods? We have a cauliflower, an onion. Let's see who else. Some were silly, some were clever, and some were rather rude. I wonder why they're rude. The carrots were sporty. The beans enjoyed books. Like us, we enjoy books. The turnips told jokes. And the leeks loved their looks. Although they were different, they hung out each day. But one group was never allowed to play. I wonder who's not allowed to play. This squad was the Sprouts. Their smell was so strong that no one could stand to be near them for long. So when they rolled by, all the others would shout, Take a breath! Hold your nose! I can smell stinky sprouts! Oh, here they are, the stinky sprouts. But while the bad smell made the other veg flee, underneath the sprouts pong, they were as sweet as could be. If we could smell nice, Mrs. Sprout said one day, the others might like us and not run away. Poor Sprouts, because they smell, no one wants to play with them. So all of the Sprouts got together to think, but no one knew how to get rid of the stink. At last, Sadie Sprout said, come on, follow me then jumped into some cranberry sauce with a wee. Her family thought Sadie Sprout had gone mad. But when she climbed out, she no longer smelt bad. The sweet sticky sauce had disguised Sadie's smell and made her as pink as a petal as well. She no longer smells. And so, one by one, the sprouts got in line to swim in the sauce and start smelling divine. Mr. Sprout said, it's perfect, and started to grin. Now maybe the others will let us join in. <gasps> What do you think? Do you think they're going to let the sprouts join in? Let's find out. The sweet smelling sprouts found the cool carrot crew and asked them politely, can we play with you? Of course, they replied. We've not seen you before, but since you smell sweet, you can join us for sure. So they said that the sprouts can join them. They don't know it's us, said the sprouts in surprise. This pink sticky sauce is the perfect disguise. With their stunning new scent, making friends was a breeze. And they played with some peas. Then the cool carrot crew dared the sprouts to race. The sprouts thought, we've made it, and rushed into place. But once they were rolling, a tragedy struck. <gasps> Their crambie sore started coming unstuck. Oh no, their cranberry sauce is coming off. What's going to happen? And as the sauce trickled and dripped to the floor, 
the sprouts became stinky and green as before. The other veg gasped <gasps> as they recognized the pong. A parsnip cried out, "You were sprouts all along!" Oh no! Sprouts turned to leave, but their friends shouted, "No! Today was such fun. We don't want you to go." They said, "We thought nothing smelt worse than a sprout, but we were the stinkers for leaving you out." So they realised they weren't being kind. They were the ones not being very nice. The others had learnt that their actions were wrong. They shouldn't have judged all the sprouts by their pong. So from that day onwards, the groups got on well, and they loved the sprouts dearly, in spite of their smell. And that is the end of the story today. I hope you enjoyed that little tale about sprouts, and I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Bye bye. <laughs>